Last year, with the help, your help, I signed into law the bipartisan state of community. I'm Lisa Mascaro. I'm the chief congressional correspondent for the Associated Press. House Republicans will launch their first impeachment inquiry Thursday into President Joe Biden. This is the first public hearing uh, in the impeachment inquiry, but House Republicans are not expected to drop any new bombshell evidence or even have major witnesses to testify at this hearing. The hearing Thursday is what we call a bit of a table setter. It's a chance for the Republicans to show for the American people, for the Congress, for the world at large, what they believe is their evidence as they begin to mount this inquiry into President Biden. House Republicans have really been probing the president's son, Hunter Biden, and his business dealings uh, during the time that President Biden was vice president some years ago. What the House Republicans have not yet been able to show is any hard evidence linking Hunter Biden's business dealings with any improper actions by President Joe Biden. The Bidens have put themselves first and Americans last. The committee chairman, James Comer, is demanding access to Hunter Biden's bank records and also bank records for other members of the Biden family. We don't know how long this impeachment inquiry will last. It could be weeks, it could be months, it could drag into next year. The House Republicans are eager to carry on this investigation in the middle of the presidential campaign. Of course, Biden is um, confronting what seems to be the front runner for the Republican Party, Donald Trump, the former president, who is making a comeback bid. Many of these allegations against Hunter Biden were the same allegations that then President Trump had lodged against him years ago. House Republicans are reviving some of those allegations. Even if the House uh, were to impeach President Joe Biden, it's uh, unlikely he would be removed from office. The next step would be a trial in the U.S. Senate. Of course, the Senate is split. Democrats have a majority, narrowly. But it's unlikely that the Senate would convict uh, the president of the Democrats' own party.